All right. Okay. I see we are live. Okay, welcome everybody. I am Zet. And today I am going to present to you the video game Limbo from 2013 by the developer Playdat. Original release on Xbox 360, now ran on the PC. Category any percent hard route. And I would say we just uh, dig right in. Are you ready, Tech, for count? Oh, I can, okay. All right, then, let's go. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Limbo, everybody. A very joyful, colorful game. I mean, we can we can you can put free on then it's even more colorful but uh, we're not going to do this. Now I can't turn it off again. Oh my god! <laughs> Why? I, I guess you just have colors. Oh, whatever. Oh. It's cool. No colors. Nice anymore. time loss, by the way, because of technical difficulties. Uh, oh no, actually, because I can't uh, discern the SD from the D key. Um, <laughs> this is. As I said, Limbo, released in 2013 by Playdead, original on the Xbox 360. This is the PC version. There are slight differences in those versions, especially the route that I'm going to run here, which is the so-called any percent hard route. It does not exist on the Xbox, Xbox 360 version. In every later release, PC and onwards, um, you have the possibility to collect nine eggs during the run, kind of so, uh, Easter eggs, which give you an achievement every egg. Um, and if you, no, sorry, it's 10 eggs, actually. And if you collect all of the 10 eggs, you um, unlock a secret route that I'm going to run. Since uh, there was a donation incentive uh, for me to run this very secret part of the route blindfolded, so uh, as it was met, I'm going to run that part blindfolded. So <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be fun. Get hyped. On the couch, by the way, my commentary. Would you mind to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Wieserwurst. He is currently my apprentice in Limbo. I'm going to teach him uh, so that he can reach a time up 50 minutes by the end of the month. I guess we will. He already did, did Dark Skip yesterday. I'm, I have uh, uh, great confidence in him. Just one of us have. So about the, the speedrun of this game, this game is extremely mechanic and movement heavy. There are very few glitches. I don't know what dark magic Playdead used. This version of this game is still version 1.0. They never patched it for the PC. And we speedrunners, we have fooled around with it quite a bit and tried out lots of stuff and it never crashed for us. It's ridiculous. I don't know how they do it, but it still uh, runs very well on any PC if you don't fiddle around with the PC settings itself too much. Um, however, there are a few glitches in the game that can be abused. Since the game uh, uses a very um, uh, diverse, uh, uh, versatile physics engine for the simulation of the uh, surroundings, sometimes the physics engine can freak out. And now I'm going to attempt a very, very hard skip here. I'm going for three tries. If I don't get it, then I'm sorry. And this abuses this very physics mechanic. So, um, serious time now. Nice! Ugh, first try! <laughs> okay, guys, seriously, this is a very, very, very hard trick. For 90% of the runs, the run killer. Yeah, absolutely. Tree skip. This is called tree skip, by the way. Visa knows tree skips from, uh, from Castle of Illusions. This is absolutely hard, very precise in position and timing. Uh, but my muscle memory did not fail me. I hope nobody is arachnophobic, because there's a huge spider we're fighting now. Um, Playdead uh, made a really good, uh, 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 very huge success with this game, um, which is partly because they, they merged um, quite uh, good gameplay with excellent graphical design and a uh, moody, minimalistic story that is not much known. It's just a boy uh, enters Limbo to save his sister, and that's it. So we actually don't know what's going on. Um, but all I know is that I try to do, do it fast. Right, uh, goodbye spider, uh, we will see you later. Um, I know one thing and that is that we have a donation, can I read it? Yes, please. It's a $10 donation by Anuran 
Um, for my friend Zed's Limbo Run, first try tree skip kappa. Well, no <laughs> need for a kappa. No need for a kappa here. And so as I was reading, we have another donation. Maybe you can tell me when I have time for that. Uh, yeah, please go ahead. This is cutscene. I can't skip it. Um, this is hard to pronounce. Xavier, twelve dollars. Hey ESA, first time donator in on this marathon. Just want to give some luck to Zed for the blindfolded heart route. Take my energy, Zed. Thank you, Xavier, very much. Yeah, the Limbo community. We are. Uh, um, uh, hang on, I'm going to explain it soon. I just have to concentrate. Okay, doesn't let me. Whatever. For some reason the keyboard works different than mine, but it's cool. Uh, now we're in the cocoon. We can just jump forward and uh, not move anything else. Uh, yeah, um, we're a, whoa, what's, that has never happened before. <laughs> there was a nice uh, boost there. Um, we're currently a few runners. Uh, that won't work. Okay, I was, I was confused with the positioning right there before, whatever. Uh, this jump is harder than it looks. Yeah, I, I got a weird boost beforehand, so I couldn't uh, estimate my position correctly. Uh, we're um, a diverse community uh, on many countries. This game was interestingly, a few years ago, uh, dominated by the French speedrunning community. And when I started running it about, I don't know, one and a half years ago, um, there were few uh, other than French runners in this game. But now there's um, from many different nationalities and there's, there's new runners every now and then. And this game is, is fun to speedrun uh, because you, you learn to concentrate on movement. Um, you see that when I run around, I do jumps constantly in a certain rhythm. Uh, this is because, well, Obviously, this movement is faster, but you can't just hold and press the the jump button and bunny hop or something. You need a, a certain a certain moment to gain enough momentum to do a full jump again. So, uh, this game teaches you how to um, get your tech uh, correctly into the muscle memory. Right now, the cocoon is over, and our friend the spider has come again, but we have already uh, run away from it. Um, to demonstrate the broken physics engine a bit further, I'm attempting another skip, which is the falling bear trap coming up. There we go. What I do is I... Um this trick is really, really hard. I tried it yesterday. He, he tried to learn it me to yesterday, and I failed miserably. But you did it in eventually, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure you can do it. Um, yeah, what we do here is, uh, wh what I just did was, um, I uh, did, um, I climbed up the rope for a bit, gained momentum through the climb, and then immediately afterwards I jumped right, so I used the momentum that I gained for upwards, that was meant for the upwards movement, and I used it for the, for the movement to the right, so I could uh, catch the slope over there. Um, so abuse of, of momentum mechanics uh, is the main time save in this game. Next skip is the tire skip, saves 10 seconds. Um, I need some concentration, hang on. There we go. Nice. Try. Before the uh, tree skip was discovered, this one uh, was one of the important tricks in the whole game. Yeah, there w um, before there was tree skip, which happens in the first, thankfully happens in the first three minutes of the game, so it's easy to just reset and retry if you don't get tree skip within the first three tries, uh, because the standard strat is, is so slow that you can attempt tree skip three tries uh, before you lose time. Uh, before there was tree skip, however, uh, tire skip was the, the reset heaviest point in the, in the run, and um, it was like either you, you get your run dies at tree skip or you uh, or you get to the end. But nowadays there's much harder, sk harder skips. Um, to tell you a bit about the uh, the root hard root uh, might be deceiving in name because it um, implies that the root is anyway harder to perform. However, if you if you know the speed run of both routes, hard root is definitely the easier one. And uh, to uh, demonstrate how easy it is, I have learned it uh, blindfolded, and we will see that later. 
But before that, we have about 20 more minutes of gameplay. Um, there's a certain movement mechanic you see me do here and there. It's called the reverse momentum jump, or RMJ. Um, what I do is I run into one direction, gain enough momentum for a full jump, but the moment I perform a jump, I press in the opposite direction, so I will perform a jump in the other direction than I was running, uh, but I will still do a full jump. This is useful, especially if you have um, very little space to, to gain momentum, gain speed, so you can just run in the other direction and jump right about what's in the other. And it also makes the box boost possible. Box boost is the technique that I just used in the beginning to um, demonstrate tree skip. Last time we see our spider. Thankfully. That, that here just was a RMJ. Okay. This is quite brutal though. We're first we're ripping ripping out every single leg from the poor spider and then well we're going to <laughs> brutally kill it. There's a way to get a boost um with the upcoming jump here, but uh, it can also destroy runs if you do it wrong. Didn't get it. It uh, uh, doesn't matter. Only saves about two seconds at max. This is the crow box. There was a nice um, trick to clip through the box, but uh, there's a new strat which is faster, which doesn't involve clipping. Um, clipping in this game is extremely rare. As I said, the game is super strong and <laughs> very hard to break. But um, uh, oh, sadly, I didn't get the momentum I wanted, but that's okay. Uh, but sometimes through falling objects with the certain positions and inputs, you, for some reason, clip through those. There will be a, um, a skip at the end of the game, uh, which will demonstrate that uh, more in detail. There was a nice mini boost there, by the way. I, also, I do apologize for not saving those children right there. I know. I hope uh, our sponsors don't hate me. Uh, our partners, I mean, not sponsors. If there's any donations, just go ahead. There are none right now. I hope there are going to come some more. Small fun fact um, the Xbox 360 version had on this part um, wood and no children. So it was a less violent version. Yeah, well, you can play the, the original version, the, the violent version on Xbox 360, but the, the Xbox version has the low violence mode. And if you play it in low violence mode, as Visa just said, those children will, will be gone and there will be logs. And you don't even have to wait for the animation for the kid to drown. So technically, at this part, the Xbox 360 version would be faster even. All right. I'm, I'm very sorry for not saving those children. But this was the last last uh, children death and that it was not the player character, so uh, we're through here. Um, so Playdead, uh, they have last year released their second game. It's called Inside and it's it looks deceivingly similar because you're also a boy, you're also starting in the forest and you're walking to the right solving puzzles. But, um, hang on. But, uh, under the surface, those games are extremely, uh, um, extremely different and they run on different engines. This one is a proprietary engine, uh, uh, inside is, is Unity engine, and uh, uh, all the texts don't work anymore. And the speedrun for Inside is also very fun, and I'm going to learn it after Limbo. This run, by the way, will be my goodbye for an indefinite time from the Limbo speedrunning community, because I have kind of burned out grinding this game and I need a break. All right, I'm going to attempt a skip here, it's called Colette Skip. You do the skip, um, the to do the skip is normally quite Easy, yeah. but can can be hard. Yeah. I didn't get it there, unfortunately. But with the correct inputs, um, you can have it so that these bird creatures there uh, uh, eat out, eat away the brain slug that just fell on my brain, on my head, um, before I have to push the box. 
Uh, just so you know, the mechanic, if you get hit by such a worm, you automatically run in one direction, and you cannot change directions until you step into light. And when you step in light, then you automatically change the direction of the boy. Um, and uh, with the so-called Colette skip, which was discovered by Darth Colette, um, uh, hence the name, you can avoid stepping into the light to the right. So it saves about 10 seconds as a very crucial skip. Unfortunately, I didn't get it here, but uh, if you want to learn it, feel free and contact us. We always, we always welcome new runners. I have to say, the sound design of this game is absolutely amazing. Music and sound design, it's the whole uh, mood and the atmosphere of this game is so incredibly well crafted which is, uh, I guess, the reason why it is so um, popular among the indie games. It was one of the earliest indies, earliest successful indies, indies with, um, along with um, Braid and Super Meat Boy. Oh, oh, oh. okay, good. Nice. If, if you die here, you lose a lot of time. I just thought I messed up the movement, but everything is cool. Um, hard route and normal route, they uh, don't differentiate much. There's just one part of the game which is, a, which is different, So, and that happens not until 25-ish uh, minutes in the run. Uh, so the beginning is exactly the same of the two routes. For speedrunning, we have also the categories 9 eggs, which uh, includes collecting 9 of the 10 eggs. The reason for that is that the 10th egg, excuse me, the, the one directly before the hard route, doesn't respawn if you um, start a new game and have collected all of the eggs. So uh, for convenient purposes, the community decided to um, uh, skip the, the egg uh, so that you don't have to fiddle around with your save files, especially in console, it can be a bit, a bit of a pain in the butt to get a fresh save every time just for a new run. This is a bit of an auto-scroller section right here. Interestingly enough, though, this is not just one huge auto-scroller, but two auto-scrollers glued together. You see the plateau over there, and w once I reach that, the next part of the auto-scroller is triggered. So I try to reach that as early as possible to lose as little time as possible. And also, Everybody likes surfing on water because now I'm going to do a little swag trick. Whee! Very few runners do that nowadays, unfortunately. Which is very sad because it's so free and looks and it's so fun. If you ever come back to this game, I, I bet one day you will mess up this trick. <laughs> Possibly. But not this year. Maybe in 2018, who knows. We have another donation. Go ahead. It's a $10 donation by DJPO, which, which translates to thanks for the entertainment and the good cause. So as I mentioned in the beginning, the French community used to be really huge in this game, but nowadays um, almost every French runner has retired by now because, as with me, once you run this game very long, you just burn out of it and you need, need some change in your life. Um, or in your speed games. There is a little trick here that I try to get. I don't think... Ah, ah, nice! Okay, this is the so-called hot box because I always say the box is still hot, and I can grab it before the the um, swinging brain slug there reaches my head. I usually never get this in runs, so this is cool that it worked in the marathon. <laughs> yeah, this run is quite good. Well, uh, well app apparently from the 3D mess up at the beginning and the death that I had. Uh, yeah, first try tree skip is extremely hype. So, um, there, there were quite a few very high level French runners and I think the top 10 is still dominated by by France at the moment I'm not entirely sure uh, there was a very godlike runner called Miliagon he 
destroyed the game. He was the first one to get a time uh, sub 42 with um, without tree skip and without another skip that we call alien skip or magnet skip skip you could call it. Um, and he was the world record holder for a long time. And then out of nothing, an American said David came out. Huge shout outs to him. He found optimizations and strats and, and grinded the game like a madman. And he now even has a sub 40 time, along with Miliagor. Miliagor has retired, but he occasionally does some runs for fun. Um, so, yeah, huge shout outs to Mili, Zed David, and all the other runners. Um, because you said it um, with France, I just checked the top ten are four players from France. Four players only. Okay. Yeah, we had a, quite a new, a few newcomers lately, who um, got uh, got very good in the run and learned the new skips and the old skips and um, got a good time. If you've seen our run, Yajiji versus me, shout out to Yajiji on this point, we did it at ESA 2016, we did a race against each other. Yajiji had a very unfortunate death at the upcoming scene here, a, a random lever hotel death, which is, you see the lever at the end here of the section, if you grab it, sometimes if you're very unlucky, which I hope I'm not, I'm not, good, <laughs> it can happen that um, the E will uh, will uh, send out sparks, and if it does at the exact same moment you grab the lever for some reason, it triggers a death, and that means usually run over. Enjoy the soundscape of the rain while we are craving for new donations to come in. Hint, hint. <laughs> this game is. Um, very forgiving about RNG. There's a few things that uh, require such precise position and timing that you can basically discover, uh, basically um, describe it as RNG. But other than that, uh, RNG only exists in the animations. We had uh, one runner of ours. Uh, didn't get the time on here either. Gelly. Um, shout outs to Gelly, by the way. I, d I forgot it. I forgot it in the 140 run, but no, I didn't. So now here you have your shout out, Gelly. Um, uh, who who made a run with a with a cheat engine on that um, nullified all the RNG and there was some really ridiculous animations going on. I even died to a PB pace run because I remembered uh, Gally's no RNG run at that point and that completely made me laugh and then I jinxed and choked <laughs> and died. So people might uh, who play this game casually might think that an, uh, a run with less than five deaths, which gives you the achievement, no point in dying would be extremely hard, but for us runners, <laughs> deathless runs are um, uh, a common occasion and we we are more sad if we mess up a little uh, a little trick that, <laughs> that usually saves like half a second um, as opposed to just a death, because a death usually just means, okay, reset. Now very soon I'm going to attempt the new, very new skip that also demonstrates the um, broken brokenness of the physics, or the occasional brokenness of the physics. It is quite precise, so I hope that I can demonstrate it. It can go wrong, but if it goes wrong, it's hilarious, so that's okay as well. Well, if, it's, if it goes wrong in a specific way. So you, you saw me walk around uh, over the seesaw kind of thing over there. And um, yeah, there's a, a little interesting momentum glitch that you can uh, apply there. Oh, <laughs> all right. Um, this is when it goes wrong. <laughs> it, lo it looks hilarious. Um, I'll try it one more time. All right, I think this would work even. 
Yeah, nice. Okay, usually what you're supposed to do... Usually what you're supposed to do here is um, you have to uh, uh, walk around the seesaw and, and swing it in one direction, the other, build up momentum so that you can reach the, the plank that you want to grab. But um, yeah, what you do is, for some reason, if you, if you catch the seesaw in a very specific position when the boy holds out the arms straight, you give it a boost for some reason from beyond, and then you don't have to do the walking. However, you do, if you do it wrongly and don't abort it in time, uh, the thing that you saw uh, at the first try will happen, and this is a very pretty much unpreventable death. Well, you can't prevent it the very first frames during the animation, but um, other than that, uh, won't happen. Okay, um, we are slowly approaching the hard root part of the run in a few minutes, so... What, one minute? Um, so about hard root, or as you might call it, dark root. As the name dark root suggests, this root is very dark. And the, the game developers, they try to make it hard so that because you had to focus on your game audio to um, get across a few obstacles. And I thought, if you have to focus on your game audio, could, you, could I do it one, two, three, and? Could I do it completely without vision? And then I tried it out, and I found setups for everything. And I hope that I can demonstrate it. If it takes me too long for certain parts, so that we get horribly above our estimate, I will have to take a peek. I'm sorry, but um, I'm confident. Weserwurst, if you'd be so kind. Sure. Just uh, put up my headphones in. So, I hope you can't see anymore. No, I can't. Thank you very much. Perfect. So now, guys, it's yeah. serious time. He needs yeah. really to focus. C could you please turn up my game audio a bit? Sure. Say when it's good. More, please. Okay. It's full. All right. Perfect. Leave it that. So as you see, I'm using uh, sound cues, but I'm also using the haptic feedback of the controller, which gives me excellent feedback of what happens. and I can estimate where I am at the moment. The beginning is quite straightforward, and there's one scene in the, in the end where I'm a bit afraid of, but I think we're, we will be fine. That should be out of, out of the box. Good. I played it safe here. It's possible to, to make this jump across the letters without trigger, triggering the second gun there. It is a bit easier when you see, however, so I couldn't demonstrate it. Uh, in the upcoming section, there is a very, very hard trick, but I can not I can barely do it with eye, uh, eyesight, so I can't even, dem can't even dream to demonstrate it blindfolded. But, um, yeah, sorry? Where am I? Nice, so that worked out the first try. So it is possible to make it across the gap there and uh, uh, still not get uh, 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 soon in half by the saw, but that requires extreme precise movement. And seven. I think I made it. Yes, good. 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven ish. So this part here, five, six, and a four. You don't see anything anyway, so why not just do it blindfolded? Uh, that was close. Five, six, and a short one. Come on. All right. I will attempt a skip here uh, three times, which is called dark tire skip, just for fun, because we are, I think, very good in time. Um, it is not too hard, but doing it blindfolded it is. Are you kidding me? Oh no, I didn't. All right, I thought I, I might have. Ah, hang on. Let me let me try. All right, second try now. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. Last try. Two, three. Five. Right. No dark tire skip, but it's okay. The skip doesn't save too much. The idea is to um, to jump towards the tire in a specific moment and get boosted above the gap. Two, three, four, five. Oh wow. the gap. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, why? Okay. That happens. I think that was too early. All right, good. Three, four, five, six. Oh, wow. Hang on, where am I? Okay, uh, the next part is legitimately the hardest part of the blindfold run, and I, I wasn't even sure if I would find a, find a method to route this out. I did find one, and I really hope that I will get it. If, if I take, like, I don't know, 25 tries or something, then I will have to peek for that checkpoint. But I'm going for it. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. No, okay, I fell down. Two, three, four. Ah. 
the haptic feedback just uh, told me that I fell down here. Come on. Yes, I think I think I'm past the checkpoint. Yes, I'm ah, nice. That was All right, I'm going to kill myself here right now because two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Did I wait long enough? Did I wait long enough? I did. All right, that's it. Okay, guys, freak the fuck out. Freak the hell out. <laughs> that. Thanks a lot, everybody. That that went a lot better than expected, to be honest. This was really, really crazy. Uh, so, um, this part here is now merging the normal route and the hard route again. And this is the so-called big room. And there's a very interesting new strat for the box arrangement. Um, I will demonstrate it. It's, it's quite fun. It plays around with the uh, uh, gravity mechanics in this room. So what I'm going to do here is... First, this box, I try to position it on a specific spot. Ah, okay, looks good. And that box I'm going to take with me. Usually what you're supposed to do is, over there uh, to the right there's a gravity switch that allows me to walk on, these, on the ceiling. Um, the game expects me to walk back and get the both boxes to the right to get on the, the piston that you see there on the right. However, there's a specific input. I did everything right, I didn't mess it up. Oh, well. Yeah, I now see the box is here and I can just pull it. There wasn't the best setup, there's better ones. You can practically almost uh, get the boxes right next to you. And um, the thing here, uh, you see the piston here, um, that one starts extremely early to, cycling, to cycle, so if you want to save time, I think for hard route, it, m it activates somewhere uh, inside the hardwood, maybe even already when the gate closes. Um, so you, uh, yeah, you want to try and save, <laughs> save time in cycles of 10 seconds, as much as you want. So we're approaching endgame here shortly, and I'm, I'm trying to demonstrate another trick, which is called the one cycle H. There's another hotel H um, coming up that uh, is supposed to be done in, uh, it's uh, sparking electricity and it's supposed to be done once in two cycles but there's a version to do it in two. Oh wow. Oh, <laughs> oh oops. Intended. Yeah. You're very good at uh, the, the estimate by the way. He was worried that the run were not going good because uh, at his practice he were doing also quite good. So normally yeah. this, this tells someone the uh, right. yeah run there. I couldn't go for the for two cycle because the electricity cycle wasn't good. But I'm trying another. All right, okay, cool. You just saw me um, grab cancel the ledge there. Um, I couldn't go for the one cycle trick because the, the cycle of the electricity was a bit off and not uh, in time for me. But you saw me grab cancel on that very ledge there and, and drop down directly on the rope, which is also a cool trick. Alright, we're approaching the end game now. And there, there's one of the very few glitches in the game coming up. We call it the block clip. It has to do with what I explained at the beginning um, with the... Uh, uh, 
uh, when you fall down, you can, for some reason, clip through objects. So you see there's a giant giant block here at the end of this, this obstacle. They're supposed to get over it. However, if they stand here, look left, climb up, do a jump, climb down, do nothing, this happens. <laughs> Works every time. Works every time. It is super easy. I can teach you right after this run. <laughs> Actually, I can't. I have to run fourth. Right, time is very soon. Oh, I can time myself. <laughs> okay. And um, when the boy hits the glass wall. Oh, I jumped a bit early. Are we good? Uh, wow. This is a really, really, really good time. Especially with the blindfold part. Yeah, that's an extremely solid, uh, extremely solid time. I had my estimate put up. Uh, I had added up ten minutes because for the for the blindfold incentive, but 40:03. This is an amazing time. This was a really good run. I enjoyed it a lot, but I need a break from limbo until I don't know for some time. Do you know what your PB is? Uh, my heart rate PB is 36, 33. Yeah, and I ac actually recently PB'd um, by 0.3 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're only f uh, four minutes behind. This is really awesome time, Zed. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Maybe, um, maybe before the setup, we have two more donations. All right. Maybe you want to want to put up the, the game on because we can see the ending cutscene. It's, it's just just something. And while you read the donations, it's just half a minute. Exosé gives eight dollars and says, "Good job for this amazing dark route." And okay, there's a fifty-dollar donation by Anonymous saying, wow. "Zed, you did it, Park Champ." Thank you very much, Anonymous. I don't know who you are, but so we just are going to enjoy the ending. We decided to to um, have the uh, stop the timer at the glass wall there because. It is very hard to determine when you when you um, uh, lose control of the boy, and it's just easier for everybody. So here is just this very short ending sequence. Go through the forest again. Many people think you have to restart the game now, which I includes me. And now here we find finally our sister. Did we save her? Dun dun dun. And. We will now find out. <laughs> 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 All right, thank you. No. Thank you very much. That was Limbo. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for watching on the stream. And uh, it was really fun. If you want to learn the game, just get in touch. And guys, don't go anywhere. The next really hard game is coming up. Yeah, should I, should I just stay in, in line here? Or how is, the, is, is this supposed to work? How do you, do you want to... Put a little setup music on, I don't know.